Hey guys, today we're going to work on learning how to do a kip, whether it's a kip on the low bar, uh, the high bar, or the parallel bars. We're going to start with a couple drills. Uh, the first drill is you're going to hang on the bar in a straddle, and you're going to bring your legs together three times. And you're going to try and keep your feet as low to the ground as possible without touching the ground. Because when we do a kip and you glide, you want to keep your legs low and then bring your legs up. If you bring your legs up too high, gravity's going to pull them back down and it's too hard to bring them back up. And the second drill we're going to do is on the high bar, it's just a leg. Lift. So you're going to keep your head in neutral. And your legs straight and bring your legs up all the way to the bar and back down. So a kip is made up of three parts. The first part is a glide, where you want to glide as low as you can without touching the ground, and then bringing your legs together at the end. The second part is bringing your legs up to the bar, and the third part is pulling or sitting up. So we're going to start with the first part. We're going to grab the bar, we're going to keep our stomach tight, head between our arms, we're going to jump back just a little bit, then we're going to glide in a straddle, and at the bottom of the swing, we're going to bring our legs together. So we're going to jump back. When you do a glide, you can also do a pike. It's going to be a little bit harder because there's more weight out in front of you the whole time versus when you straddle, the weight's a little bit more out to the side, so it makes things a little easier. But we're going to start the same way. A little bit of a false grip or over grip. Head between your arms, legs straight. You're going to bend your knees, going to jump back a little bit, and glide in a pike. So the second part of the kit is after you glide, whether you straddle or pike, is bringing your legs up to the bar, where, which is where that leg lift strength comes in. We're not going to try and pull just yet. We're just going to focus on a nice glide and then try and bring your legs up to the bar. And the third part of a kip is after you glide nice and low and bring your legs to the bar, you're going to pull down the bar and try and finish with your shoulders over the bar. You can also do this off of a mat if the bar is a little bit too high. You're going to start the same way. Arms by your ears, a little bit of a rolled wrist or false grip. And you're going to bend your knee and jump back. Uh, yeah, uh, so a drill you can do on the bar is you can have your gymnast uh, start in an L or a pike, and you're going to put your hand here, and you're going to extend them out here, bring his legs to the bar, and sit them up like that, and then bring them back down. And you can spot this trick more for real, uh, you can jump into it. And you're going to put your hand on his lower back, or her lower back, hands on your leg, and pull it sit up. And if you straddle, just make sure you stand back a little bit before you come in. Cool. Okay, thanks. On the high bar, you won't have to worry about keeping the legs off the ground as you do on the low bar. And you can start with either an uh, underswing into a kip, or you can do it from tap swings, or you can jump from the low bar to the high bar. A kip on the parallel bar is pretty similar as a kip to the uneven bars or the men's high bar, uh, except your hands are going to be like this, and make sure your thumbs are up by your fingers, otherwise you hurt your thumbs. And you also have to make sure that when you pull, you keep your arms straight, because if you bend your arms, you may whack your elbows on the side of the bars. If you have a total gym in your gym or at home, uh, there's an exercise you can do that can help a little bit with kip strength. You're going to lay down the sled. Put your feet up like this. Your head's going to be sitting up a little bit. And you're going to start here. Then you're going to roll your wrist. Then pull down, take wrist roll, and sit up a little bit at the top. 